Imagine if our bodies had the ability to regenerate a lost leg or an amputated finger. We may not be able to regrow a limb, but remarkably, some species of salamanders can. Many kinds of salamanders can regrow their entire leg with perfection, even as adults, which is really amazing because inside those legs are all the same parts that human legs have. This is the axolotl room. Jessica Whited studies a species of aquatic salamanders known as axolotls. This is about how big they get, probably about 10 inches. Sometimes they can get a little bit bigger. Whited is figuring out at the molecular level how axolotls regenerate limbs. Her dream is that her findings could help lead to the day when humans regenerate their limbs too. You know, obviously in the wild, there's no one to stitch them up or give them antibiotics or anything like that. So what happens next is that a very special kind of skin crawls over and covers the wound. Over the course of several days or weeks, a little bump forms. And this little bump looks like a little translucent mound. And inside are a bunch of cells. And these cells are called blastema cells. They migrate to this little nodule and then they proliferate like mad, meaning they divide and they make many more of themselves. The bump gets bigger and bigger until finally it starts to have the hallmarks of what even a person on the street would say, oh, those look like fingers. Certainly the new skin looks a little different from the old skin, but once enough time has passed, you honestly cannot tell the difference between a regenerated one and the one on the other side that was never regenerated. They just look the same. There's no scars. You won't even be able to see the seam of where the new limb from the old limb is. While we can't regrow a whole limb, there are some hints that we have a limited capacity to regenerate. Doctors have observed that children who lose a fingertip can sometimes grow a new one. As long as somebody doesn't suture it closed, then there's a good chance that they'll regrow that fingertip. It raises the possibility that humans have some kind of latent abilities that possibly could be tapped into someday if we knew exactly how that worked and maybe how it relates to full limb regeneration in something like a salamander. Ultimately, the secret to axolotl regeneration is in its genes. What we're looking at here is a salamander leg that is regenerating. By switching certain genes on and off in its cells, the salamander can coax them to multiply and develop into bone, muscles, and other tissues. What we wanted to do was to figure out what are the genes that are very highly on in blastema cells, but are really not on very much or at all in the rest of the tissues. And the way to figure out which genes it turns on is to ask if this gene is on in those cells, can we give it a chemical that will turn that gene purple? And if a cell doesn't make copies of that gene, then it's just gonna be white. And then after that, you wanna know function. If we remove both copies of that gene, does regeneration still happen? And if it still happens, is it normal or not? And if it doesn't happen, which step is it broken in? Right? Um, these are all things that are actually now feasible in a salamander that were not feasible 10 years ago. I don't know, I guess I think they're creepy. You think they're creepy? In You're a good like way. You're like the 1% of people. <laughs> but in a good way. I don't know, look at that. Do you think maybe someday it might be possible for people to be able to regrow you know, an arm that they lost using the kinds of insights that you're finding with these axolotls? If we don't know how this works in salamanders, we're at a huge disadvantage to even formulating ideas of how to make it happen in people, for instance. Do I know how long it will take? Well, absolutely not. But obviously, I hope that some of this comes to fruition while I'm still around. <laughs>